Got killed 62 men in one-on-one -on -one armed sword fights. They would decide to have duels. And, I don't and that's know to the death. To the death, with swords. And he wrote this book, The Book of Five Rings, which was a book on strategy. And he wrote this quote, once you understand the way broadly, you can see it in all things. And I think that all yeah. difficult things, they aid you in developing your human potential. And you find a way to get out of your own way by getting good at all kinds of things. This, this idea is that difficult things are tools. They're tools to maximize the way your mind interacts with life. Musashi Miyamoto was a legendary Japanese swordsman whose skill in the art of the sword was unmatched. He was undefeated in over 60 duels, earning him a reputation as one of the greatest warriors of all time. But Musashi was more than just a skilled fighter. He was also a deep thinker and a master of strategy. His book, The Book of Five Rings, is still studied and admired by people today for its insights into the nature of combat, the human mind, and the pursuit of excellence. What makes Musashi's story so captivating is his dedication to the pursuit of personal excellence and his journey of self-discovery. From his legendary duels to his travels throughout Japan, Musashi's adventures are filled with drama, intrigue and self-discovery. Musashi Miyamoto was born in 1584 in the small village of Miyamoto in Japan. His father, a samurai, was absent for most of his childhood, leaving Musashi to be raised by his mother and uncle. Despite this, Musashi grew up in a world where warriors were revered and the art of the sword was highly prized. At the age of 13, Musashi participated in his first duel against Arima Kihei, a skilled samurai. Musashi emerged victorious, defeating Kihei with ease and this was the beginning of a long and illustrious career as a warrior. From then on, he traveled Japan, engaging in duels and battles with anyone who would fight him, earning a reputation as one of the greatest swordsmen of all time. Musashi's fighting style was unlike anything his contemporaries had ever seen. Instead of wielding a single sword, he utilized two, a long sword in one hand and a short sword in the other, allowing him to attack and defend simultaneously with lightning-fast precision. It's no wonder he was undefeated in over 60 duels and became a legend in his own time. Musashi's battles were the stuff of legend. These were the battles that made Musashi's name the stuff of legend. The Battle of Sekigahara. From the pivotal Battle of Sekigahara, where he fought on the losing side but managed to survive. The duel with Sasaki Kojiro, this was perhaps Musashi's most famous battle. Kojiro was a highly skilled swordsman who had never been defeated in battle. Musashi and Kojiro agreed to a duel on the island of Ganryu, and Musashi arrived late, intentionally throwing off Kojiro's timing. In the ensuing battle, Musashi killed Kojiro with a single strike, cementing his reputation as the greatest swordsman of his time. Lastly, the siege of Osaka Castle, Musashi fought on the side of the Tokugawa shogunate in this long and brutal battle. Musashi, along with a small group of samurai, defended a narrow bridge that was being attacked by a much larger force of enemy soldiers. Musashi personally fought and defeated a group of enemy soldiers who had managed to breach the castle walls. According to legend, Musashi cut down the first two soldiers with his swords, then grabbed a nearby spear and used it to dispatch several more before finally regaining his swords and finishing off the rest. Musashi Miyamoto wasn't one to settle for mediocrity. He wasn't just a skilled warrior, but also a deep thinker and philosopher. He was always striving to improve himself, not just in combat, but also as a human being. His book, The Book of Five Rings, reveals his philosophy on strategy and combat, highlighting the importance of being adaptable, flexible, and reading one's opponent. Musashi's book emphasized on several key insights for self-discipline. Understanding the nature of the self, Musashi believed that in order to achieve self-discipline, one must first understand the true nature of the self. He believed that the self was made up of both the physical body and the mind, 
and that the two must be in harmony in order to achieve success in any endeavor. The importance of practice. Musashi believed that true mastery of any skill requires relentless practice and repetition. He emphasized the importance of training the body and mind together in order to achieve a state of mushin, or no mind, in which the actions become automatic and effortless. Embracing failure. Musashi believed that failure was an inevitable part of the learning process and that one must embrace and learn from their failures in order to progress. He emphasized the importance of perseverance and resilience in the face of adversity. The need for flexibility. Musashi believed that one must be adaptable and able to change tactics in the face of shifting circumstances. He emphasized the importance of being able to read and anticipate one's opponent in order to achieve victory. Musashi lived in a time of constant warfare and political turmoil, and this undoubtedly left its mark on him. Musashi witnessed the horrors of battle firsthand, and these experiences left him with a sense of introspection and a desire to find meaning in his life. He faced his battles within himself, struggling to balance his warrior nature with his longing for inner peace. His journey was one of self-discovery and personal excellence. As for his death, it remains a mystery. However, it is believed that Musashi died of natural causes in 1645 at the age of 62. Some accounts say he was teaching his students when he fell ill and passed away soon after. Regardless of how he died, Musashi Miyamoto's legacy lives on as a true legend of Japanese martial arts.